Daro, he emphasized the urgent need for collaboration to meet requirements and avoid market losses in the EU. Uloma Yemachi reports. The inauguration commenced. Key stakeholders in Nigeria's agricultural value chains gathered to address the challenges posed by the EUDR, which aims to combat deforestation. The European Union is indeed not only a major trade partner, but also the loss of the market due to non-compliance with EUDR presents a great threat to the cocoa, rubber, soya, and timber value chains that constitute 80%, 7%, 7%, 7% and 5% respectively of the 523 million euro export trade. The minister highlighted the importance of forest mapping and traceability systems, noting that Nigeria's forests have not been properly mapped since 1959, a critical requirement for EUDR compliance. It is pertinent to note that mapping of our forest areas that was last achieved in 1959 and need for a national traceability system across our agricultural value chains is of utmost importance. There are also various companies and state actors working tirelessly on meeting the deadline set by EU either directly or indirectly. We are also aware that EU has funding opportunities the NTF can explore to ensure mapping of our forested areas. The minister also called for exploring alternative markets like China and Russia in case compliance is not achieved by December 2024. Ghana, one of the world's largest exporters of cocoa, has already set the ball rolling by mapping 1.2 million farms so far and has said it can start tracking cocoa beans from farms to ships next month. We must therefore make efforts to ensure compliance, even as we are determined to exploit other markets outside Europe, such as China, Russia, Belarus. Eight key agricultural value chains are at risk, but the National Task Force is determined to create a unified national strategy to meet the EU's deforestation free requirement before the deadline. The minister remains optimistic that with strong cooperation, Nigeria will meet the EUDR requirements, safeguarding the lives of millions of farmers and also increasing Nigeria's agricultural exports. Uloma Oyemachi, TVC News, Abuja. All right, let's um, turn attention now back to our coverage of local government elections in 